Hello everyone, I am BPD and welcome back to some Minecraft Undiscovered. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I hope you are doing great. So uh, we're updated to a new version of the pack. Once again, we are at 2.6.1 and the biggest thing that this did is it changed the conductor mast. So these recipes are now disabled, I believe. Let's go ahead and check it. Yes, disabled. You can't make them with the conductor mask anymore. Now you actually have to set the conductor mask up. And apparently it was an issue with mag... Whoa, what is this? Calculator. And uh, the conductor masks just weren't working. But now they do seem to be working. So we'll set ours up. We'll put no some of that in there. And we'll wait and see how much we end up getting for it. But other than that, there, weren't, there were a couple other mod or mods that got updated. But... Um, yeah, other than that, not too much else. Another thing I did was I changed the roof, and actually I think I like this. I went with a darker roof instead of just the stone slabs, and I went ahead and used slate for the roof instead of the bars, and actually I think it looks okay. With the dark roof, I think it, it just sits better. At least it does to my eyes. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I haven't changed the windows yet, but I will be doing that. Um soon <laughs> in between episodes of course okay so that's pretty much i didn't really do too much else in between episodes except for you know gather materials and prep for today and today we are going to be getting creative flight ha <laughs> ha i'm so excited so the first thing that we need to do the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to make a chaos rune so we're going to my favorite color as i said in the previous i don't know i think it was in the last episode it's blue it's actually midnight blue in particular, in case you were wondering. But uh, we're going to make this one the chaos blue. It's the darkest that I can see. And we're going to need eight of these enriched chaos essence and one blue topaz block in eight. That's, that's enriched chaos essence. Right there. We could do it this way, but we need this fluorescent dye, which is this stuff in and in power, and I'm just not about that. I'm going to go the simple route. We got blocks of glowstone, blocks of gold, and chaos essence. We have... All of these things. As you can see, we're going to need about a stack of this. We're going to need about three stacks of glowstone blocks, of course. And then we're going to need about three stacks of chaos essence. Okay. Now, I do know the exact number of the enriched chaos essence that we need. So, thankfully... There won't be any waste there, so we need 44. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I probably did my math wrong, to be completely honest, but I'm pretty sure we need 44 of these guys, uh, which my math doesn't really add up, does it? Uh, let's do this. Okay, it does. It does. All right, good. So we need that, this, and do that. And I have it wrong. Let's do this. Okay, so that's going to get us 44. I think that's what we need in total. Why do I feel like that's incorrect? We need some for this. Okay, let's just make it one by one because now I'm a little bit confused and I feel like I may overuse materials. So we need eight of these. Okay, and then we can... Why did I exit my crafting table? We need to make a topaz block. All right, and then we go ahead and wrap around our enriched chaos essence. And we got ourselves a Chaos Blue Topaz. So that's the first step. This doesn't do anything by itself, though. We actually have to give it power, which we're going to do right now. So there are two different ways that I know to get power with Silent Gems. There's a Passive Chaos Pylon, which doesn't really generate a whole lot of power. And there's the Burner Chaos Pylon, which uses coal and generates a decent amount of power, actually. So we're going to go ahead and get into the Burner Chaos Pylon. But you do need a Passive Chaos Pylon first, so we'll go ahead and make that. We need one of these... Um, what is this? A chaos core. So we also need some. Whoop, we also need some uh, quartz, certus quartz, or nether quartz rather. Quartz. We'll grab that. We'll just take the stack for now, and we need to make one block of this. So let's do that, and go ahead and make. How many was this? We're gonna need two of these chaos cores. So let's just make eight. Eight more of these. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, and two chaos cores. We need another block of quartz as well. Okay, so that gets us our chaos cores. Okay, and they do stack. Wonderful. Now we need some obsidian. 
Ooh, there's like a lag exiting the crafting table there. Anyway, some obsidian and some lapis. I think our lapis is in here. Lapis, yep. We'll just grab that. Should be enough. And we got to run over here and grab obsidian, which we have plenty of. All right. Uh, chaos pylon. That's what I was doing. So let's make one of these. All right. So you'll see here. I'll go ahead and put it down. And I don't know if you have to be holding this or not. But you see it's, oh, that's activating it, right clicking. But you see it has a little bit of charge in it. It's getting about, you know, a thousand or so every couple seconds, roughly. So that's a, uh, that's a regular passive pylon. So that's cool. That's cool. Now we need to go ahead and make one of these. So we need some redstone, more obsidian, which we have, and a furnace. Let me just go ahead and do this. Um, what were we make this guy right here? So let's go ahead and go here. Furnace. Make ourselves one of those. Fantastic. And then we should be able to make one of these. Okay, so we have a burner pylon. Go and clear that out. We need some coal, which we actually have on us. And we'll go ahead and see how much power this bad boy gives us. We're at 2,500 right now. Okay, and go ahead and throw we'll throw three in there for right now. So does it work if we're not holding it is my question. Okay, so that just got us to charge 10,000. Okay, so does it work? Okay, it does. It does. It charges when it's not when it's not on your hotbar or anything like that. Awesome. Okay, so we have some power. I guess I'll just like I'll take this out and let that charge up our our inventory here. Okay, so we have power for our topaz and we have uh we have the topaz, of course. So now what we need to do is we need to do a little bit of Batania because we need to get a runic altar. Actually, let me just search rune because we need to make one of these guys, a chaos rune of flight. Okay, that requires two supercharged gems, four of these enriched chaos essence. So let's go ahead and make four of those. Um, go here and here. Four of these. Okay, and we have our chaos essence. I just smelted it because getting the mechanism set up for that is just, it was too much. For, we only need two of it. We don't, I mean, it's not really a whole big thing. So for this, I don't think it has to be anything in particular. We can just use two, any two gems. We'll use, uh, I think we need four actually, because I think we have the most of that. No, we have the most of this. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we take this and we do... Uh, that's the pearl one. Okay, so what was that recipe? It's like six, two. Okay, so two. We need two. And we need two of these guys. Gets us two supercharged aquamarine, which is fine. We need, we have four of those. Now we just need to make these guys, which we should. I, I harvested a bunch of fluffy puff. A bunch of fluffy puff. So let's go ahead and... Stack that like so. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This will just get us a stack of feathers, which should be good. Like that, like this, and one last one. There we go. Stack of feathers. There we go. And we need to make two plumes, which means we need more. Are they in here? I think they're in here. Uh, yeah, two. Oh, we have just enough. Look at that. So let's go and grab our feathers. We need two of these guys. Okay. And then that'll get us into this, which we need four chaos essence and four gold. Gold. I have ingots of it. I know I also have bars or blocks in my inventory, but why break a block when you have perfectly good ingots? You know? <laughs> All right. So let's go and grab two of these. And that should be everything we need. Okay. So I think I can put a bunch of this stuff back. I say that as a question mark because I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, we'll keep this. We'll take... Uh, we have that, that. That's our rune. We have power. Yeah, now we just had to make a runic altar. All right, runic altar. 
Okay, and actually, let's sleep. Because sleep is good for you. Go ahead and get into our bed. Okay. Alright. We're almost there, guys. I can feel the creative flight in my body. We need one of these, an inverted potential. And to get that, you can do it in these two machines, an environmental accumulator, or a sanguinary environmental accumulator, or created by struck when inverted potential is struck by lightning. And you can do that with a couple different items. Okay, so we're gonna be doing that. We need to make inverted potential first. So we need two dark power gems. Oh, that's another thing that I did in between episodes. So I got, we because we have to get Psi metal ingots, right? Okay, so in order to get Psi metal ingots, you have to get the trick, uh, the infusion trick for Psi, and to get that was actually quite, quite the, uh, quite the process. As you see, I've got, I've gotten up to infusion, and we had to go through all this stuff. And I was going to record it, but oh my geez, was it dry and boring? <laughs> you do not want to see that, trust me. But basically, it's just like. You go into this thing and you program spells, essentially. I mean, that's what happens. Like, I'll do a quick one right now. We'll do, um, like, a trick add motion, okay? So this needs a target, a direction, and a speed. The speed has to be a number. So you go ahead and into here. You take your number. We'll do three is fine. Then you need a target, which will make ourselves, which will be this caster. And it's an, so it, you can look here. It says target needs to be an entity. Speed needs to be a number constant, and direction needs to be a vector. And then you look here, this outputs an entity. The dark orange is the output, the yellow is the input, okay? And this outputs a number constant, so we have our entity and we have our number constant. Now we just need a vector, and to get that, we are going to use um, operator entity look. And the operator entity is going to once again be us, the caster, so that's going to go like this. I'm going to have direction like that, target like that, and speed there. Okay, so we have that. Wonderful. Uh, do I have... I made a CAD. There we go. So we take this. We take... Um, I think there's a bullet in it. What is this? Uh, it, it, I named it dumb because <laughs> some of the spells were just dumb. Anyway, click it on there. There we go. Got this. Got our gun. And now we can right-click... And you see we get moved forward a little bit. See? Look at that. <laughs> Fancy. But yeah, you can do all kinds of different stuff. The spell we're going to be doing today... Uh, shift right click. That's the way to clear it. We are going to be using... It's simple. Super simple. Uh, let's see. Where is it? It's a trick. Infusion. And you'll see here, requires nothing. So you left click on it to see what it requires and stuff like that. Right click to... You know, open up the menu to pick your stuff. Anyway, we have our trick infusion. So let's go ahead and take the bullet out of here. And we're going to go ahead and name this infusion as well. Infusion. And give this bad boy a right click. So, uh, I don't have a... Oh, it's in here. That's why. So let me look right here. Yeah, we will be able to cast it. Okay, good. That's the only thing I was really worried about. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Put our bullet in there. And to make this uh, CAD, by the way, you can't just do the regular CAD that I made on camera. You need to make the CAD assembly. Then you also need a basic CAD core, easy enough. You need a basic CAD socket, easy enough. And a basic CAD battery, which is also easy enough. So those are the things I put into it. All right, now that we got this, we need to take some gold ingots, two of them to be precise. Let's grab two of you. And we can actually put... Feathers in there, and everything else will keep on us for now. Um, what was I making? Two gold. So we need to take this two gold, throw it on the ground, and then shoot it. Ah, there we go. So now we have two psi metal. Fantastic. So let's go back to our runic altar, and we need this guy, this guy, and we need a slime, which we'll grab from here. Yes, and what else? Psy metal and the bloodstones, which I have. Okay, so we're just going to throw this into here for now. Then we're going to take it out by doing this. We're going to craft one of these guys. Wonderful. We can't, yep, can't get another one because there's no more slime balls. Just wanted to make sure. 
and then we take this and it was like that and like this okay so that gets us inverted potentia so now that we have inverted potentia we have to make one more thing and that thing that we need to make is called a scepter of thunder okay so we need a blood orb which is easy enough it's an empty orb which i have right here and i'm also gonna need my blood and my blaze rods okay so and this was easy enough to make just some glass and an iron we take that how much did it say it needed 3500 so grab half of this put it into here okay and then we can fill this guy up fill fill this guy up why can't I fill you up? What? Am I doing something terribly incorrectly? A promise of tenacity. Uh. Okay, so I guess I need a promise of tenacity. That doesn't look too hard. Promise acceptor, block of iron. Let's grab that. Iron. And throw you in here. You require some amount of blood, I'm sure. Um, 10,000. You don't actually require 10,000 millibuckets of blood, do you? What? That is insane. Oh, man. Oh, man. That is crazy. <laughs> that is so nuts. Okay. Um, we have four more here. I don't, I don't really have a whole lot of blood, to be honest. Let's see, that's 35, that's four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's only nine thousand blood. Okay, how do I get more blood? Hmm. Blood. Undead logs. In a squeezer. We got a fruit press bottler. That squeezer. Magma crucible. I don't have anything that can help me get blood right now. Um. Jeez, okay, uh, let's see, there has to be a way. I have the hardened blood here. Uh, so how do you make hardened blood? You just have to let blood, okay, so I'm gonna have to go grab quite a bit more blood. So let me go ahead and do that. There we go, got everything we need to make our promise of tenacity. It was a little bit more difficult than I expected, actually. Let's go ahead and take a look. So this one wasn't too bad, it took 10,000 blood. But it also needed a block of iron, and it made that. But then we also needed this guy right here, which takes 5,000 blood and a filled bowl of empty promises. And that's made with two crushed dark gem, a mana pearl, which I did make. Uh, it's a stable ender pearl in a mana pool. And a bowl of empty promises, which is three more dark power gems. So I went ahead and made those. But now, oh, is there something incorrect here? Oh, there we go. Promise of tenacity. We get to keep our bowl of empty promises, which is cool, I guess. And I think we put that in there. Okay, so it increased our blood capacity. And now I think we can put this in here. And it should start going? No? What am I doing incorrectly here? This is a blood infuser with an empty orb, a blood orb, 3,500 blood. Oh, there it goes. It's just incredibly slow. Oh, man. Look at that. Okay, well, while it's doing that, we can go ahead and make our rune that we need for Batania. And we gotta jump down here to do so. Okay, actually, let me let me grab everything we're gonna need first. We need rune of air is what we're making. Rune, oh, actually, no, I can't do that. We need our blood altar. What am I doing? All right, we gotta wait for this bad boy to get finished. With how slow this is moving, I wonder if it was actually working before, but just very slowly, and I didn't give it enough time. I might have made a promise of tenacity for no reason. It's a possibility. <laughs> but it said it needed it in the recipe, so maybe I did need it. Anyway, we're going to get ourselves an orb, or a blood orb, I think it is. I don't know. Something like that. Come on. Almost there. You could do it. The last stretch is always the hardest. <laughs> Jeez. There we go, one blood orb. And with that blood orb, we are going to make ourselves a scepter of thunder. Okay, so I think it's like this, and then two of these guys, and one of these. Okay, so scepter of thunder, and we'll hold shift, spawns thunder when activated. Single use. One use with this guy. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go up onto our 
patio area. Okay, we're going to take this guy, we're going to throw it out like so, a little bit away from the tree actually, just so that the tree doesn't catch fire. All right, so let's go and do this and right click. Will it work? Okay. Something. Do I just have to wait? No way. Oh, I think I have to still put it in the... Um, let me grab you. Recipe. Or, no, not recipe. Use. Villager trades. Okay. Let's see. Created by stroke by lightning or thrown on an environmental accumulator during a thunderstorm. Check size smite trick or evil craft scepter of thunder. I made the evil craft scepter of thunder. Get struck by lightning. How do you make an accumulator? A Q. What's this guy? You can't make it. What? Found at dark temples. Not craftable. Oh, really? Okay. Ah, uh, dang it. There's a dark temple right over here. Let's go jump over. Oh, hello, spider. And many skeletons. What? Okay, this is this is dangerous. Many skeletons. I was not expecting that. <laughs> not expecting that at all. Okay, and there's also... There's so many mobs out here. Does this... Is this from, like... Oh, oh, please don't kill me. I just need to grab this. No way, you really hit me out of it. Oh, you jerk. Need to eat. Okay, there we go. Just need to grab this environmental accumulator here. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, I got the core. Obtained when breaking a regular environmental accumulator. What? <sighs> uh... Uh, okay, so, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, I need to find another one of these evil craft things quickly before this rain is gone. Okay, it worked. Jeez, oh, I'm burning alive though, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, at least I died on my roof, that's not too bad. Alright, so I got it to work, as you can see there. I had to use a Psy spell because I could not figure out how the blood magic thing worked. I went around looking for a uh, environmental accumulator and all this other stuff. It was just a huge pain. So I just looked into Psy. It said I could use the smite trick, which was easy enough. Uh, it was unlocked on right after I finished the infusion, the elemental arts here. And uh, this was the spell I used, which, as you can see, hurt me a bit. But... Uh, Trick Smite with Entity Position and Focal Point. I tried to do uh, Operator Entity Look, but it kept giving me an error and I couldn't do it. But we have ourselves finally some Inverted Potentia. Now, all we have to do is take that Inverted Potentia and I think it's in here. Uh, yes, we need our Living Stone. Okay. And our Crafting Table. I got a, uh, When I went out looking for the uh, stuff, I found a bunch more different foods to eat, so that'll be fun. All right, so we need to do this. Yes, runic altar. There we go. Now that we have this bad boy, we can take, we need uh, a feather. Uh, let's look up what we need for the air or rune of air. We need a feather, a carpet, and a string. We have a string and a carpet. It is easy enough. You just got to grab some wool. I think it's three. Like that? No, that's a bed. Okay, it's just two. Or that's not a bed, it's a sleeping bag. Anyway, close enough, right? And then we also need a couple mana items. They're not in there. We need these two guys right here. So we need one mana steel and we also need like the mana powder stuff. I didn't have to do infusion for the mana steel. I found some in some chests in my travels. So that was nice. But we do need to get some of this mana powder here. So, chuck you in there. Fantastic. Now, we just take our runic altar. Uh, we need some more hydroangias. Uh, they are in here. No, they are in here. 
and hydroangias. We'll go ahead and place down our eight. Um, let's point you guys away real quick, or at the runic altar real quick, just so that we don't lose any of the mana we're going to build up. Then go there, there, here, and here. So that's those, and then we go here, 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 and here. Okay, now we just have to chuck this, 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 and one of these onto there. You see it's starting to create. We actually got a decent amount of mana too in the AFKing time that I've been here, so that's actually pretty nice. Let's go ahead and get our rune. We need to take another piece of this stuff. We're going to have to chuck it on there, as is the way with runes. And then, we're going to have creative flight, guys. We are going to have... It's been arduous. It's been tedious and a little bit more complicated than I thought. Thankfully, the side trick worked or else I was going to be kind of at a loss <laughs> as far as what to do. It was That was quite the hang-up. I thought that the Scepter of Thunder would just do what the Psy Metal trick did, which was just call Thunder down to the position, but that's not what happened at all. It just causes storm where mobs were out and i think the mobs were even more intense i don't even know it was insane they were all over the place there were little skeletons i died a couple times it was awful it was just awful but um that's all in the past now it's going to be okay once we get our creative flight i can't wait i want it right now uh let's see do we have everything on us for that we do okay Right? Yes, we do. Oh, yes. And then we just have to go back. Or no, no, no. We have power in our gem. Where's my gem? Um, I don't see my gem. Am I crazy? Where is it? Where? What? Where? Where's my gem? <laughs> Let's throw that on there. We got ourselves a. Two runes of air, I think, yep. Two runes of air, but I don't... I have no idea where my uh, chaos gem went. It can't be, like, in here. No. Is it in... One of these? I've lost it. Maybe I lost it one of the times that I died. Oh, man. Okay, well, that's not too bad to have to remake, I guess. Oh, it still hurts, kind of, though. <laughs> To be completely honest, I'm not too happy about it. But we have plenty of resources, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and make ourselves another one of these guys. And I'm probably crafting an extra one for no reason. Let me just see if it's in here. Chaos. Uh, no, it's not. All right, but we do need our Chaos Essence. So let's go ahead and grab a stack of this. We need some Glowstone. Grab a stack of that, and we need some gold blocks. Go ahead and grab those. We need eight. That's only five, six, seven, eight. All right, so now we just have to make some more of this chaos essence. Eight more of it. Wrap it around. Get ourselves another chaos blue topaz. Wonderful. Get ourselves a runal flight. Now, I don't know how this works. Do you just go like that? Yes. Okay, so now... We throw this into here, get ourselves some power. Let me go ahead and sleep as well. Get a nice good flight during the day. See, look at all the errors. Those are the errors from the other spell, by the way, in case you were curious. It was, uh, it was terrible. Anyway, how much power do we got? None. Uh, do I have to right click it on here first? Right click. Are you getting power now? No. Are you not, uh, what is wrong here? Why aren't you getting, why are you not getting power? And I can't even, like, turn it on, right? What happened? What's the difference here? What is, what's going on? What did I do differently? I don't understand. Can I... No, I can't, like, uncraft it. What is... What is the deal? Oh, there's my other rune. Oh, it was on my belt. Dang it, I knew... I knew something was gonna happen where it would show up out of nowhere. 
But oh well, we have this one, and I think we can... <laughs> that's hilarious. We can right-click this. We have a little bit of power. I don't know how, how far that's going to get us. 20,000. Let's just try it inside. So it is just regular double tap. Uh, it goes down at a relatively decent pace. But look at this. We have creative flight. <laughs> Took two chaos gems to do it, but we, <laughs> we got it. We just have to let ourselves charge up a bit, but then... We're going to be able to fly all over the place, guys. We're going to be able to do awesome building. Now, building is going to be so much better, especially with this terrain, because I'm going to be able to fly out and make stuff. I have some awesome, awesome ideas, especially with the uh, viaducts now. It's going to be great. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that we have some creative flight. Finally, it feels like it's taken forever. But um, we are out of time, though, and on a very, very good high note. Uh, I do want to thank you guys so much for joining me, of course. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I know I definitely did. Probably my favorite episode so far of this series, just because look at this. We can we can fly, guys. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Oh, man. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the, uh, of the little roof we got going on here. We're going to be getting back into kind of the swing of things. Uh, let's check our quest book to see if we have anything in here to turn in it looks like we have this okay two stable ender pearls we'll get this stable ender pearls for sure uh and it doesn't look like okay so i was supposed to make the golden cat assembly before i did the side metal oops oh well we'll make the golden cat assembly eventually maybe i'll make it off camera it's not too awfully interesting but um yeah i don't think i have anything else for you guys i think that's it thank you guys once again so much and until i see you again have a good one